So we come to the sixth move, uh, two hands climb the back, the strength and the kidneys. Um, within the traditional form, this, the hands run up and down the urinary bl bladder meridian tract and back up the kidney tract. Um, it's, it's more of just a basic motion, Uttanasana move in yoga, coming down and up, or like a Pilates roll down, up and down, um, flexion and extension of the spine. As of all kidney bending exercises, they have the kidneys, etc. So that's more traditional with electromagnetic rivers and meridians and organs and emotions linked to them. Not going too far down that. We're going down the path of Pilates yoga and hypnotherapy with the breath, a bit of a mixture of the breath in a breath synchronized vinyasa manner um, with emotions. So don't get too caught up on it. You don't have to have knowledge, you know, you just feel the benefits as you do it. Like just, you know, feeling good. It's just mind candy. You don't get too caught up. So again, just motion. That's all it is. Movement's good, whatever it is. And with whatever breath. So straight in, we're going to zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine and just start with the breath. Okay, nature is wrong, not mine. Just to find our balance with the breath before we start. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through the nose. So we're gonna exhale through pursed lips. Let's start with that, yeah, the, the, keep it simple. So we're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. So the usual Pilates breath, okay? Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out abdominals, navel towards the spine, okay? If you want to sort of have a little bit of awareness of what's going on there with the internal muscles, because sometimes it can be a bit like an amnesia. If you don't know these muscles are there, you can't use them in the correct manner. manner. If you know they're there, you can use them in the correct manner. So just to see where the muscles are, a bit of an awareness workshop moment, we just get the thumbs touching across the beeline of the body. The beeline from the hips come in here and they meet. That is the end of the pelvic floor, which links onto our corset muscle three layers deep, wrapping around our spine, the transverse abdominus. Okay, as we gather in, take the navel towards the spine, zip up pelvic floor. We just consciously engage their muscles. One won't go without the other though. As you can see from here, if you go back to the B line, the bikini line, belt line, we're gonna call that from the top of the hips here, cough or sneeze, <coughs> Everything's gonna come in. You find they go together as you do that, okay? So again, take your hands away there. Just simply zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, breathing through the nose, and exhale through pursed lips. If you're sort of blowing out a candle through pursed lips, that exhale will work like a cough or a sneeze also. It'll help you also zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals. Now, as you're doing that now, You'll feel that breath coming low and deep to these fish gills, 3D style, organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So we can use our transverse abdominus, the corset muscle, in the most efficient manner, helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs. It's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates, Helps us, helps us use the pelvic floor and that corset muscle we're talking about, the transverse abdominus, in the most efficient manner. Helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button. Helping us breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely. So as you do that, you'll even, as I'd say, the analogy of opening the umbrella inside your rib cage. someone's opening your up that umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go, you'll feel that happening inside the ribs. Okay, so if someone's opening the umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go, that lovely, free, expansive breath. Keep on breathing in organ deep, cell deep, even bone marrow deep into these lower lobes of lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, anywhere but the stomach. Lovely. 
So with that, we're gonna change it and go down the yogic path. We're closing the mouth, breathing it out through the nose. As you still zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, and then go out through the nose instead of pursed lips. And that'll make it a little bit more yogic in a way, that more filtering breath. Through that smaller filter through the nose, that filters the breath even more and helps us lengthen the breath longer in a more sort of yogic manner. Okay, more cleansing breath. That will help lengthen the whole wheel cycle of the breath. Okay, and as you do that, you will naturally feel the out breath wants to fall longer than the in breath. So just simply allow that to happen without even trying or try not to try. Allow that to happen. And then consciously take your mind to that out breath. Okay, rather than the breath breathe you, you're going to breathe the breath. You take your mind to that out breath and consciously elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Okay, quadruplet, doublet, triplet, whatever you like. Make it longer than the in-breath within your limits without forcing anything. Okay. And allow that simplicity to relax the mind. And as you do that, that will benefit the parasympathetic nervous system. Okay, all the things you don't think about, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, will be benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. Okay, even cellular communication, organ communication and function, process elimination and simulation in the body. Many, many things you don't think about. That renewal of the body. All be benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath. So that brings in the sort of hypnotic responses. Okay, again, be breathing in for seven, exhaling for 11. Everyone's count will be different. Not that we're counting anything. And that will bring in them hypnotic responses in the way that the in breath's conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath within our limits, longer than the in breath, the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just allowing that relaxation to come in towards the body. It takes out that logical mind into that sort of trance like relaxed natural hemisphere of the brain, okay? Now again, you don't have to know that, you just breathe as you still keep on zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals. If you wanna take this on a little bit further and make this a little bit more advanced yogic breath to ujjayi breath, optional. If you can't get it, don't worry, carry on breathing as you are, because that's more than good enough. But if you wanna go further, you grip your esophagus, and create our ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. So again, the only way is to demonstrate that as you breathe in and you exhale. As you grip it out esophagus, that will help lengthen the breath even longer for that narrower filter. Again, ujjayi breath. You're in a sort of Darth Vader breath. You're breathing in through the nose. Shoulders down. So you want to come up and exhale. It's not going ah, with the mouth shut. That will stimulate the thyroid glands, which helps us weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat from the body. Helps us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Okay. Again, don't underestimate the breath. You can cool your food down with the breath. You can heat your hands up in winter with the breath. Okay, so again, consciously focus on the breath in a certain manner. Will help you build the heat in the body. Fan the fire about all the toxins in the body. Lovely. But again, if you can't get that, just carry on breathing. Naturally, like we did. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out abdominals. Very near Ashtanga breathing. Ujjayi breath. Seashore breath there. Okay, that lovely, soft, silky whistling, raspy sound from the back of the throat. Lovely. So again, ujjayi breath or not, we're going to link that. We're going to calibrate and synchronise and integrate that with emotion in a sort of breath synchronised manner, vinyasa in Sanskrit. So with this, a nice simple motion. It's just basically flexion the spine and breathing in. As we touch the meridians coming down the outside of the legs, the urinary, urinary bladder tract, 
coming up the inside of the body. Okay, now again, I'm gonna add some Iyengar yoga principles of, of levels, modifications, if you like. Obviously, you've got really bad back problems. You might wanna just separate the legs. You're gonna make it a little bit harder on the, fle on the flexion, yeah, and you're fine, then you, you can have the feet together. You can straighten your legs but not lock them, or soften the knees, but no further than knees and on the toes again. You know, like Earth Kasana, really, the fire posture nearly, but again, I would go no further than knees and arm or toes. Okay, option. If you want to support the hands here, instead of going down the outside sides of the legs, you can do that as well, if you've really got problems in your back. Okay, but again, I'm going to demonstrate the whole breathing pattern of the spine here. Flexion and extension. But again, this is the motion. So I'm just going to, uh, the battery saying it's low. Let me get rid of that. So again, hands start here. Shinsu on the kidneys. Okay. You breathe in to prepare. Now we're going to start here, wider, and you're going to exhale down. We're going to keep the legs bent, go to a modified version. Exhaling down, no further than knees and arm or toes, I would go. Outside the legs, breathing up the centre line of the body for the inside. And exhaling down, allowing that essence to come down from the sky that nourishes the body. Okay, we start, we, we, we go on which bit to lengthen in a minute with the breath. So breathing in, palms to here, exhaling down. It's going to be long, this breath. If you need to support yourself, then support yourself here. Forget this coming down the outsides, you know, and don't come down so low. Exploit the range, speed and tempo to suit your and your ailments and your body. Otherwise, you're exhaling down the traditional way. You want to bloody tracks down here. Knees not coming further than toes. Breathing up the centre line a bit sharper. This bit, as you allow the shoulders to drop, exhale down, nice and slow. If you get there before the out breath finishes, because you're lengthening the out breath, then just allow it to carry on exhaling. Then breathing here, exhaling down. If you make it a little bit harder, you can just not soften these so much, straighten them but not lock them, or you can bring the legs in. Same deal, exhaling down, breathing in, coming up a little bit sharper through the crown, exhaling down. Remember the motion on the exhale is gonna be longer time on that. Okay, breathing, hands to here. Gather in, think tiny waist, especially as you collapse inwards, navel towards the spine as if you've got a little rip cord on your belly button, put it in towards the spine. That magnet on your spine, pulling the belly button in. As you exhale down, nice and long. Only come down as deep as you like. If it's to here, that's fine. Otherwise, it's here. Breathing a bit sharper. Shoulders will drop. Exhale down. Slow, 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 slow. With the exhale, breathing hands towards the back. And then follow again. Again, like I say, make it unique to you with speed and tempo and the range. If you don't want to go in that deep, you're just here, that's fine. You know, then do that. But gather in, throw in that corset, be safe for the back. Lovely. That's just one way of doing it, okay? There's loads of ways. But again, it's just motion at the end of the day. So with that, got number seven, pouching with angry gaze next. But that was number six. Two hands climb the back, the strength of the kidneys, bang.